we ask our current supervisors what they need from the college, support and recognition are usually top of the list. We have worked hard to address this while developing the Clinical Learning in Practice or CLIP programme. Most importantly, we want employers to give supervisors the time and support to help learners progress quickly and effectively. That's why we have included all the detailed expectations for supervision, including how much time should be allowed, in our CLIP Employer Handbook. We'll be asking employers to agree to these expectations before taking on a CLIP student. We also want supervisors to be supported, where possible, by others in the practice. If you work in a setting with other employees, we will be encouraging a team approach to supervision. While the student will always be supervised by at least one experienced optometrist, they will be able to delegate and involve others in the supervision arrangements you will be able to include anyone who is able to contribute within their scope of practice, including non-optometrists and the newly qualified. The college will also provide direct training and support to all members of the supervisory team. We have refreshed our introductory training for supervisors and included a pathway for the supporting task supervisor role in CLIP. The new training, delivered in short and easily accessible e-learning, includes a package of ongoing CPD modules for supervisors and regular online peer reviews. To find out more, you can see the section about supervision on our website and read the CLIP Employer Handbook, which you'll find there.